Carolyn lives and works in Leek. She had a sensible 20 plus years career in financial services before becoming a personal strategy coach uh, and Neil TR consultant. Uh, she is now self-employed, uh, working from home alongside with her husband, a self-employed photographer, and is striving for a better work-life balance. Her exciting journey has taken her onto the comedy stage uh, and carrying a window up a mountain. Yes, over to you. Now I've brought some props with me today, so I don't know quite how I'm going to juggle the mic on the props, but we'll see how we go on. Right. Of course, that's upside down. This is me. This is the one time today I'm going to say that I'm not something, because I'm not an artist, you can see that. Um, five years ago, I changed my life. Now, I changed in a way that wouldn't be huge to some people, uh, but I always believed, I grew up believing, that you had to be a certain type of person to run a business. But this is me. This is me when I was bored with my job. And I had excuses. And those were excuses like, I can't afford to go and retrain. I don't have time to retrain. This is me, I had excuses like, I'm not good enough to do anything else. This is me. I didn't know anything about setting up a business. And I had no clue about what I thought that certain type of person was. So who am I? I like colouring, you can see I like colouring. There's a lot of things that I am. I'm an ELTR consultant. What else do we have in here? I'm a daughter. I'm coach. I'm a dog's mother. <laughs> a photographer's wife. That comes with its own challenges. <laughs> there goes my business cards. I'm a businesswoman now. I'm also a sister, a niece, um, a friend, many, many, many other things. As I'm sure all of you are today, and I'm sure you can add lots to that list. But the one thing I haven't mentioned today is I'm also me. So where is me? I carry around all this clobber with me on an almost daily basis. So, you know, you're looking for things in your bag that you can't always find. Well, that's the same in your head some days. Where do you find me? So who or where is me? Why does me get so lost in this list of niece, daughter, dog mother, employee, career girl, whatever? Finding me is about me being as important as the job, the club that I take with me every day, the dog walks that I do, the cleaning, the house, the shopping. Sometimes me needs a little self-care. Sometimes me needs to put me first. As we, if we don't, we can often stay hidden. Can you remember the last, can you remember who you wanted to be before everything else got in the way? So when I'm working with clients, I always start with taking some time out for me. I'm not suggesting that you go home and refuse to do the shopping, the cooking, the cleaning, or to walk the dog. I'm suggesting that you just find a little bit of time in your day for you and for whatever the meaning you need. Now that might be 15 minutes on interrupted reading, knitting, whatever. It might be a bit of hula hooping we're going to do today. It might be to be able to take a bath in a kid-free zone. It might be to go out for a walk without the dog one day. It might be to take a gym session, for meditation, thinking time, mindfulness, whatever it is that you need in your day. 
And it's about making that time for whatever you want. So, I'm just going to leave you with three tips today, my top three tips for this. The first one is about having a curfew on your own phone. I do this for two reasons. If I use my phone after nine o'clock at night, I know it affects my sleep and how I feel. But it's also about, if you're struggling um, to take that time out for yourself, why do you seem to have to spend all that time on Facebook? I know we all do it. Um, the second is if you absolutely want to guarantee yourself a nice 20 minutes interruption free bath, the simplest thing is to put a lock on that bathroom door and use it. And the third is that to tell the you loved ones that you need this time. I'm sure each and every one of them would support you with it if they simply knew that you wanted it. So don't be afraid to ask and they will get used to it. Okay, so thank you for listening today. I'm just going to leave you with a quote by a chap called Jim Rohn. If you really want to do something, you will find a way. If you don't, you will find an excuse. Thank you.